The Iron Throne is mine, by right. Stannis is a warrior, severe and puritanical. His main concern seems to be justice, that somehow the world should be just and that the consequences of justice would be that he would be king. Stannis is the rightful king and the Lord of Light. Stannis is planning to attack King's Landing, basically all guns blazing. We'll deliver our armies to their doors, the entire realm, saying that if you're not for me, you're against me. Joffrey, Renly, Rob Stark, they're all thieves. They'll bend the knee or I'll destroy them. But Renly doesn't go along with this and has a huge army. Look across those fields, brother. Can you see all those banners? He doesn't approve of his brother Renly's claim. Stannis' idea of being a monarch is you have enemies and subjects and no friends. And Renly doesn't see it like that. Stannis is our king. We follow where he leads. Davos is Stannis' most trusted advisor. There's no man in the Seven Kingdoms more honorable than Stannis Baratheon, or more worthy of loyalty. Davos is his conciliary. He's one of his most trusted confidants alongside Melisandre. You should kneel before your brother. He's the Lord's chosen. Melisandre is in the business of prophesying the future. You see, my king? She sees that Stannis will be king. Stannis Baratheon. Your sword awaits you. Melisandre comes from some distant land, and she brings with her a new religion. The night is dark and full of terrors. And a conviction that Stannis is the Messiah. She thinks Stannis, he's a special, special man. She's a foreigner, preaching a foreign religion. Stannis is most definitely falling under her spell, which Davos does not think is good for his attempt to take the Iron Throne. He won't be able to resist us now. Soon I should be sitting on the Iron Throne. Nothing is worth what this will cost you, not even the Iron Throne. I'll not hear another word. Stannis will perhaps do anything to get the throne.